Hi, I'm Andy from Pure Yorkshire Honey. Came myself been toying with the idea of doing some videos and posting them online, see what you guys think. So today we've done one. Uh, it's going to be coming up. So I appreciate any feedback as possible. It's something you're interested in us doing. So have a look. So we'll just take you through one of our hives, do a basic inspection, show you a few things in there, show you the workers, show you the girls, show you the queen if we find her, um, show you some drones if there's drones about, the male bees, completely useless, borderline, all they're there for is mating. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take you through one and um, see what you think. End of April, beginning of May, 16 degrees, full sun, I'll see raping full flower. The girls are absolutely on it. Let's have a quick look in. So this is the super on top of the brew box. Pretty much probably on 50% of it. So it's been a bit of a bad weather this last week, really cold. So hopefully this coming week's gonna be nice and nice and sunny and they can get out and get foraging. Let's get this off and we'll have a look in the brew box. So for those who haven't really seen a beehive inside one, we put this on, um, it's a queen excluder. So the bees, the girls, if you like, they can come up through and work the supers, store nectar in, turn it into honey. But the queen, cause she's a little bit bigger, hopefully we'll see her on the video. She can't get through cause you don't want to lay in eggs upstairs. You want to keep it downstairs in the brew box. So where she can lay. So we'll get the crown boiled off carefully, making sure she's not on the back of it, and then we'll have a look at some frames. Right, we've got the crown boiled off, and you see it just popped it to a side there. As you can see, you're getting quite a bit busy. There'll be hopefully lots of brood in there. Bees will be feeding the young larvae, capping over, and uh, bringing in pollen, tending to the queen. So let's get a couple of frames out and have a look. There we go, a nice good frame of brood, which is absolutely brilliant. So these will be hatching out into workers, they're nice and flat. That big bee there, that's a drone bee, that's a boy bee. Borderline, the only reason he's alive is to mate, that's literally all he does. Um, he gets fed, he doesn't feed himself. Um, so yeah, it literally all there. All they're there for is to mate with virgin queens. Once they've mated, that's it, they die. So yeah. And we'll go through some more frames and see if we can see the queen, but that is a really lovely frame of brood. Just thought I'd show another good frame of brood, full up. Some drone brood at the top there, the bumpy looking cells. Just blow a few off. You can see the bumpy cells there are the boys. They'll be in there. And then the flatter, sort of dark, sort of biscuity cappings there. That'll be worker brood, so girls. Haven't seen the queen, but I've seen eggs. I'm not too worried at the minute. Um, there's good numbers, I do have quite a bit of space still. I do have a little bit of wild comb in there, which is my own mistake, and she is laying on that, she could well be on there. It's something I probably should sort out, because I can't inspect that frame. If there's queen cells on there, then potentially I won't know. So it's something I need to sort. I know experienced beekeepers out there will probably definitely be one to get out. I completely agree. It's just, this colony has done so well through winter and it's just on it. So, yeah, we shall see. So, we'll put the brood box back together and then we'll get a couple of frames out of the super and see what the super is. Just found the queen. There she is. Just having a look in the cells. Iron it up where she can lay. She's not marked. That you can see she stands out a lot longer abdomen uh, legs are actually lighter as well than a normal worker bee so what we'll do 
we'll get her put back in and keep it nice and safe. Pull the frames back in now, so they're getting a little bit upset with me. Um, so we'll put them all back together and let them get on with it. So we'll put the crown board back on, blow these bees down. Um, I try not to smoke my bees if I don't have to. If I really need to, I'll go get my smoker. I find if I just blow on the frames, they'll um, they'll go down. So it is a really quite a nice Connolly to deal with this. So I'm quite happy with the temperament. I am thinking of grafting off this queen to make little nukes, but um, yeah, we shall see how we go. See what they bring in off the all seed rape. Right, let's get the crown. Just pulled out one of the frames from the super. Um, they're getting there, they're, like I said, they're about 40-50% to it. Um, just starting to cap it over, you've just got to keep an eye on our seed rape. It does crystallise really quickly. Um, so we'll keep a close eye and see what these lot bring in over this next week. And then uh, think about maybe taking it off. Right, let's put it all back together. Right, that's this one put back together. Um, like I say, it's been really cold last week, so I didn't expect too much. Um, but hopefully this next week looks really good. Back end of the week, 17 degrees. A little bit of rain tonight, maybe, which will probably do the RC rates some good. Haven't had any rain for a long time, so the nectar's probably a little bit low in the plants. So, yeah, hopefully a bit of rain, good weather, a good week of weather in front of us. Um, so hopefully... Um, this Connolly will just go absolutely bonkers for it. Loads of the cat brood in there, really happy with that. She's starting to lay drones. Seen her, I need to mark her. You know, I need to get rid of that wild comb because that just could cause myself some problems with queen cells. But hopefully you've enjoyed this and um, a little bit of an insight. So that was our very first video. Um, what did you guys think? Was it good? Was it informative? Is there anything else that you'd want to see us do? We do lots of other stuff. It was a very sort of quick basic inspection. We're not experts by any means, um, but we really enjoy what we do and we're hoping to expand. There's a lot of things in the background that we do as well. If you want to know a bit about that, we can put it in. Um, it is literally up to you guys. We are we still class ourselves as, as, as sort of novice beekeepers, but um, yeah, we've been doing it for a couple of years now. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, like it, subscribe it, share to it. And um, if you're interested for us to do some more videos, just let us know. Appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.